my name is Kim. I'm the founder and designer of Floral & Co. So Floral is a handmade locally sourced accessory brand from Manila that started back in 2017. And today, as you can see, we are partnered with Arete Makerspace of Ateneo. And I'll be teaching you guys how to make upcycled earrings. And the materials can easily be found at home. So these are the items we will be using. Some scissors, some pliers, some fabric glue, some thread like frigoncillo or cross stitch, cowrie shells, jumpering, fish hooks, old hoop earrings, and some laces. So we will be starting off with these laces, lovely daisy laces that I have. I used to make chokers out of this and now we're upcycling it for a new pair of earrings. So you just have to cut it about uh, 4 inches or 2 petals as you can see. And then we're going to be applying fabric glue all over it. Make sure that it's even and you will be um, putting just enough glue on the edges of each petal. And then we're going to close this shut but then make sure that we will be leaving a space because we will be putting a jump ring around it. so that it will be like a pendant. So we just have to be a little bit neat here since we're dealing with glue. And then we get one jump ring and then we open it up using our pliers. And all we have to do is hook and then close again the jump ring. Ta-da! It's now a pendant. So I grab here my old stainless hoop earrings and all I have to do is hook the petals and there you go. One new upcycled pair. You could also use it as a necklace, necklace pendant actually. So on to the next pair. So this time we will be using some cowrie shells or some cash shells. And also a thread. Uh, this thread is very popular when it comes to doing cross stitch. So I use the color pink. So you just have to cut two to four inches of it. You can eyeball that. And also wrap the thread along the opening of the cowrie shell. So we need that grip so that the, the shell will stay in place. And then you have to tie it about three to four times. You would be able to feel how, how tight and secure the shell will be using the thread. And after tying them four times, you just have to cut the loose threads. So now, like what we did with the daisy earrings, we will be putting a jump ring. We'll be hooking the jump ring onto the thread. Like so, I was struggling a little bit to get my hand steady, so I used my left hand to close it up. You can do that too. And then you can grab a fish hook. You can actually borrow your old fish hooks from your other earrings and then just change them up. You can always do that. And there you go. Ta-da! Another upcycled earring. And I also made an extra pendant cowrie shell for a necklace so that it's matching. So for our third project today, uh, these are my stainless old hoop earrings. So I applied fabric glue on the half portion of the hoops. I was a little bit generous because we need all that glue. And then I grabbed my yarn. This Yarn is best for ganchillo, but we will be using it for upcycling our stainless old earrings. So just try to um, estimate how much thread you will be using. So we will be using four colors in this one. So as you can see, we are just wrapping the thread over and over the earrings. So to make things easier, you just have to make your um, first collar um, a little bit short so that it'll be easy to wrap it around. So you have to wrap it around neatly and nicely. It should be looking intact and there will be no spaces in between the threads.
this is actually a fun process for me this is a little bit tedious but it's really really worth it you have to sort of divide um, um, the half space to four equal parts so you know when to stop and you know when to start the next color like this one so now I'm starting with the yellow color again same process cutting the thread first you can always take your time whenever you're doing this so that it, it won't be messy because if you brush yourself, the glue will be all over the thread and it won't look nice. So same process, you just have to circle around the thread onto the hoop. There you go. So this is the second color. And now moving on to the third color, which is blue. So same steps again. Cutting the thread and then eyeballing it. And just wrap it around as tightly and as neatly as possible. So this is four colors. So it will be teal, yellow, blue, and then another yellow at the end. Like super, super fun colors. Great statement if you're wearing plain clothes or you just really want to go a little bit playful today. I know it's a lot of um, tidying around of the hoops, but it is worth it. And you know, just to make your normal hoop earrings kind of fancy. So you just have to be careful when it comes to um, circling around, especially when you're losing um, the extra thread on the end. So cut the loose thread. We're almost done. You can always use any size of hoop earrings that you have. It doesn't have to be gold, it could be silver. It could be any thread that you have at home. This is very versatile. And you could also do some mixings of um, the thread over each other or change the color combination. You could do so much with this one and it's super simple. You just have to be careful with the glue and just have to tie it really. You have to wrap it really tight. So this is the second side of the earrings. The left side. So I will be cutting the thread, the loose thread, all over it. So here I'm making sure to cut it to the edge. So it won't be appearing out of nowhere. I could also like try to push it down so that it would absorb rather more glue. No, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sort of pressing it down so that it absorbs more glue and it doesn't come out easy. That's our finished product right there. So this is a very fun earrings to make and you could always, always try it at home. You could just find materials. It doesn't have to be the exact materials that we used. You can always find alternatives so that you can try to make any of the three pairs that we made today. Also, please do post a photo of your work on the social media and tag Arete Atenea for a chance to have your work be posted on their social media pages. And also, please tag Plural Enco. Saying thank you to Arete Atenea for this wonderful video.